It's that time again. What's up, everybody? This is Dad's Land and Fab. Hope you enjoy the show. Deuces. Boom! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to another show of Dad's Land and Fab. Mickey, I'm sticky and hot, not in a good way. <laughs> oh, it's fucking boiling. I know. What the fuck is going on with this weather? Two weeks ago, the... we were talking how it was 16 degrees, and now it's uh... 7 million degrees, and you lift your arm up, and it falls off with sweat. I mean, what's that about? Welcome to the two <laughs> days of English summer. Enjoy it while it lasts, people, because it is not here to stay. The temperature is set to plummet. Four days, including today. It's still hot and sweaty today, even though it was like 6 degrees less. I was still dripping. Still work. dripping. I'm dripping still like a, dripping. Like an otter's pocket. Fuck you know. It is <laughs> sticky and wet. Fucking just But we're making it through. It's not going to last long. No. You never know. What have you been doing to enjoy the sunshine, my friend? I have Apart been. I have been at work. Putting my aircon on and hiding. <laughs> <laughs> so I have got the old trusty mighty fans guys if you want one of these don't ask me where to get it I got it off TikTok it was uh, I can't find £10 it. I've got two of them this one's really old now though it's getting a bit it's getting a bit dead the new one is pretty quick still this one <laughs> his hair but, wobbles <laughs> We're not here to talk about fans, all right? We're here to talk about we got all, the shit that's go- all the shit that's going on in the world. Yeah, We've got fans. We've got fans. We had nearly 3,000 3, downloads last week. 300 downloads, sorry. 3,000 <laughs> downloads. Who knows in future? You never know. I'll tell you what, though. I would not want to be one of those sweaty people in the tent at Glastonbury right now. Is that on at the moment? So that's this this it's weekend. Like today, did it? Uh. Yes, yesterday they they they. I think it's they're there for five days. So yeah, they they were allowed oh. to go camping yesterday, but music starts it's... tomorrow or maybe tonight. I'm not sure. Oh, uh, on Friday, yeah. Oh wow, yeah. That that sort of glassy does nothing for me. Staying in a tent, being dirty, not knowing where the fuck my tent is for a start. After the first fucking night, I just feel too old now. And I, I know people go to Glastonbury in like their sixties, but I feel like, oh god, I couldn't yeah, be but doing. They li- I mean, they live in the garden with the fairies already, don't they? Do you think oh, Glastonbury they're... always reminds me of, of like old ladies that don't wash? I don't know why. Old, old ladies <laughs> that don't wash. Yeah, because is that, they're is that what hairy, you've been thinking of? hairy armpits, you know, and they smell. And they just drink Prosecco <laughs> or whatever. The hipsters. The hipsters. Yeah. The, the lady bird. I, yeah. It, yeah. Isn't it okay. funny how there's still, there's still categories of people, you know, like, oh, God, like, is there still goths around? I, think? I know, I know one, but I don't. You know, of, you know of someone know that calls of, themselves. I don't know if they call themselves. They look like they have all the, the white and black makeup on and they look so my day was em- my day was emo emo was the thing for me mm. i i would say i was a bit of an emo start yeah. younger younger years and then it just kind of leveled off it's just kind of like i just i didn't fall i didn't want to fall into a category of you know emo grebo goth yeah jazz. You, had, you had black hair with a fucking oh. white striped fringe. <laughs> what do you expect? They call that the devil's they call that a devil's lock. Ling, 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 ling. Playing your guitar or whatever you did in your band. band. Screamo music. Oh god. Drain pipe jeans, checkered bands. <laughs> pretending I was done. depressed pre- pretending I was depressed because uh, you know, listening to my chemical romance in my bedroom. Thinking my life is so bad because I had beans and toast for dinner one night. <laughs> now I crave beans and toast. 
There's nothing wrong with beans on toast. I tell you, they have some good. That is up there with one of the best British standard dishes in it. Bit of cheese, bit of cheddar, bit of cheddar. Americans think beans on toast is like weird as fucking dish. They so. they think it's weird that we have beans on food, like for breakfast. Yeah. They have it as like a main, but we obviously traditionally we have it with a fry up or beans on toast. Which mean they have beans as a main. Like with a, a like a main meal in the evening. I mean, oh fuck that! No, I mean, it depends. If you're having if you're having what I call an oven, where it's like chips, turkey drummers, and beans, that's fine. <laughs> I love that. Honestly, for me, if I could have honestly, my perfect dinner would be as a childhood nostalgia would be crinkle fries. You know the mm. crinkle cut. Yeah, yeah. Crinkle fries. Turkey dinosaurs, cheesy beans, and my mum used to get these. Do you remember crispy pancakes? Yes. They had some weird flavours, but yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. They used to do a chicken and sweet corn one, and it was fucking Ooh, banging. I, I remember the cheese and bacon one, the one that used to drip when you'd cut into it. It'd just drip yeah. out. Yeah. None of that food was good for you, but it kept us alive. We're here now. My, my favourite dinner, remembering, um, was... Garlic Kiev, chicken garlic Kiev. <gasps> chicken Kiev, are they still around? Yeah, used to buy them. Get them in Tesco, yeah, nice. Uh, with mashed potato, sweet corn, and what Ooh. sauce, Niall? What sauce? Fucking mayo. No, it was not. I've never, I've not always been a mayo man. <laughs> Guess what barbecue? I saw? No. I went for a barbecue stage with McDonald's barbecue sauce. It was nice, but I remember. Was it? Was what? it? Right, let, me, let me think back to the time. Was it the the fruity HP or Ugh. when HP did a, when HP did a curry version? Remember that? No, no, it wasn't no. anything like unique or left of the curve. You know what was it? Like Ketchup, barbecue. salad cream, salad cream. Oh, I fucking love salad cream. Oh, I'll, I'll back to it. salad cream. I used to have salad cream on everything, and you mix Love lots salad of salt cream. and grindy salt and pepper on the mash. Yeah, put the sweet. I love corn the hand in. actions. Woo! Yeah. Put the sweet corn in it, mix it up, cover it in <laughs> salad cream, mix all that up, so it's all like whipped and it's nice. And then you cut into the garlic Kiev, and the and the garlic butter goes all over your face. <laughs> and then you just mix it all in. Oh my god, I'm so fucking hungry. I could eat that. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey's version of a bukkake pie. <laughs> uh, I could just eat that now. Seems like I don't have oh, anything mate. nice like that until weekends. But I lost more weight anyway this week, so I lost. You do. I lost you another similar. kilo. You're a bit... Yeah, yeah. I've lost another inch off my hips. I think this week as well. So I'm doing well. I've lost a stone now. Over a stone. Shut up. I have so, been yeah, I'm happy sugar free now for I'm gonna say ten days, maybe a little bit longer and honestly I'm struggling. I've I've had stomach cramps. Honest made stomach cramps, painful cramps yeah. because I, I can't shit. My shit's just <laughs> non existent. I that surprises me because you have coffee all the time. Coffee in the morning. I've cut straight back down, straight I'm out. One I'm one a day now, and I can't. I don't have it too. Why? What's wrong with you? What's wrong, know. Niall? But do you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna not, kill I'm that not, fucking dog. I'm not fucking hungry. Rat. Yeah, you're not hungry. No, you're not, because your appetite is suppressed. Shut up, fucking. I'm not hungry at little all. Little cunt in dogs. It's fucking so strange. To, Sorry. So strange to feel like this, but I just. I don't go. I don't, do you know when you think you want something? I, I'm not even thinking that anymore. Yeah. I so all fit all. I mean, even diet drinks have gone now. So no more zero drinks. Just H2O or no, see water all the way. I'm I'm and I mean I'm drinking far too much. This far helps. Much. This helps with any sort of food craving or anything like uh, mm -hmm. you know sugar free fizzy or whatever. Just to... I'm just not. I'm just not bothered about food. I'm just not interested. Me. That's like, good. Even dinners, like when it comes to, especially now, 
like I've had. So today I had, I had a hoisin diet fucking hoisin wrap from duck Tesco. wrap. Duck wrap, yeah. Mm, they nice. I had a duck. I had a duck wrap. I had. Uh, I did have a coffee, so I had a cotado, and I had a bottle of water. That's that was baby, it. Though. Why have you come up? All... Why have you come off coffee? Can I? Is there a reason you're not sleeping? I don't know. I'm, no, no, I'm just not interested. I'm just not. Whereas every day, normally my my go to is wake up, coffee, do the school run, coffee, come back, have coffee. Yeah. Halfway through the morning, so about half eleven, have another coffee, and then I'll cut it off for the day. Then so three well, coffees before three coffees before lunchtime. Give me your machine then. <laughs> we don't want it. <laughs> is that plumbed in by any chance? We have to fill it the up. The machine. Yeah. No, you got to. You got to. What do you mean? Fill it up. Yeah, I've got. To, I've got to empty the drip tray. You got. It's a big commitment having a machine. I'm telling you. It's. it's no, no. You fill it up with water from the tap. It's not plumbed in with a pipe because some of them you can get are plumbed in. Yeah, see, I don't use. I don't fill it up with tap water. I fill it up with. Um, or whatever. Like, you know what bro- I mean, though. Yeah, so I fill it up with. Bro- yeah, yeah Brit with filled with water. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I fill it up from the Brit every day, and then, but a full tank it filled up. That lasts me maybe, say, a couple of days. Well, why? Maybe three big days. Tank. Big tank then. Yeah, it's it's a two liter tank. Wow. I'm not being facetious. I'm just saying because I've got a big Tassimo machine, like one of the big ones, and you only get like two and a half cups out of a full one of a full uh, water tray. So I just wondered. I thought, fuck it. I could easily, I could do, I could do, I could easily do six flat whites out of a full tank. Bearing in mind that people don't realise that the cleaning, the cleaning, pro- I told you, this, the cleaning process yeah, yeah, yeah. is extensive. It is um, it's an extensive uh, process, but it's worth it. Yeah, I have beans good. on repeat every month. Do you remember before? So I had an espresso machine before. Do you remember when I sent nearly 200 espresso pods to your house? You did, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my mistake. <laughs> I gave them back, didn't I? Yeah. Because I thought, who the fuck sent me them? I've not even got a machine for them. And I put on Facebook, has anyone sent me these by mistake? Because I haven't got a machine, and if you want to buy me, I couldn't machine, even work. Great. I didn't work it out until I looked at my Amazon. And it said my pods were delivered. I was like, no, they fucking weren't delivered. And then yeah, <laughs> you, must, you must have sent. We must have done a gift thing on the pod, mm. and then yeah, yeah. mine was the last address probably, and it, it just, it just forgot to change it. And I got some pods that I never used, and just gave back. I don't know. What's my interest in food? I am exercising more not crazy because no. I'll, I'll tell you i'll tell you the truth is that it's probably my own fault but i'm not eating a lot so my energy levels are definitely crashing by like nine o'clock at night mm. like it is a it's a painful like end of day process where i'm just i'm ready to go yeah i suppose it's difficult because of the job you do you don't really move about much which like, for me, your that's based. the important part now. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm walking around as a lot. Like, I'm doing a lot at home during the day, just basically running around. You know, I'm like, if I'm not cleaning, I'm fucking doing something. I've got a couple of projects on the go. I'm about to take on my first ever, my first ever, not first ever, my first ever woodworking project. Are oh, you going to so, build something? Cut something up? I, I'm going to build something, video pending. Yeah, yeah. So, what are we making? Make it, well, well, we'll see. Well, I'm going to show you a bit. I'm going to take a video and I'm going to send it to Mickey to kindly edit and make okay. a fantastic video out of. Whoop, whoop. But this is the Dance Lads and Kebabs building firm taking off in 2024. <laughs> if you need a grave digging or some help stopping smoking or the small DIY projects, oh. here's. what's Can your I, level uh... on DIY? De- What's my level? What's your level on DIY? Like, where where do you say I'm not doing it? Like, I don't touch. I won't touch electrics. That's why. That's my no go. No, no, or, or plumbing. Don't Anything to do with yeah, or gas. Electrical water or gas. I, I suppose I could put 
depends what I build and what I build from scratch or just put together from like shops. anything. So whether it's you know, I don't like whether it's build a flower bed or fucking oh yeah, I don't know, in the... make do a pergola or something. In the in the past, in my old my first house that I bought, um, I, I laid patios, built steps, raised beds, brick raised beds, did all that shit. Um, but I've never never built a pergola. I always wanted to. I had plans to it to do it. I bought the the support brackets and everything, but I never bought the wood in the end. And then I moved out, so I didn't. Wood's expensive. I so think it is now. Yeah. <laughs> when you see the video to the back row of what I'm building then I'll tell you how I did it and where, where I got the materials from. But I want to build it first because it might not come out. It might not work. But I'm really going to try and do it. So I've watched many, many clips of this set item being built. It looks relatively simple. So I'm going to give it a go. Um, and we'll see how it goes. But I look forward to that. That's coming soon. Anyway, so going on in the world, we have got all sorts going on, whether it is not trouble somewhere or heat waves or just general fright prices in fuel going up let's talk about the island of tenerife <gasps> what is going on on the island of tenerife and because honestly at the moment my fyp page is full of tenerife <laughs> or the hawk tour girl <laughs> Yeah, I was going to talk Spit about that thing. <laughs> Spit on that thing. <laughs> oh, I feel bad for her. Like, I feel, I honestly feel she was right. So this is my speculation. Let's break that down quickly. She was a she was a drunk woman on a night out with a camera shoved in her face. Yeah. And what do you do when you're when you're drunk? You act a fucking idiot. Like you say shit, stupid things, man. We all. I honestly, I've said stupid things when I've been drunk. I've said stupid things where I remember saying something so stupid to the point where I started walking off and I felt a, I felt a pull on my arm and as I turned as I turned around, I had a police officer grabbing my arm, saying, "What did you say that for?" And it wasn't even it wasn't quite offensive or anything. It was just basically me just being a dickhead. But I remember having a police officer going, "Like, why are you saying stupid shit?" So we all say stupid shit when we've had a few drinks. Turns out I don't drink anymore, and I still say stupid shit. I just I blame that I blame that I'm getting older. It's called the podcast. <laughs> but from what I've read, this lady said obviously set thing that all men dream of. You got to give them that hot to spit on that thing. It's a true fact. It's true. <laughs> However, this young lady is apparently a teacher, and rippled and she's lost her job and although she's Actually, making merch i was gonna say i've seen the full video from many angles and she didn't come across bad at all everything else she said was was like fun f like funny uh nothing it wasn't was bad it wasn't bad nothing was bad no she just said oh to keep was it something about keeping a man happy just got a on that thing spit on that <laughs> thing yeah and yeah as i say she's selling hats now isn't she and t-shirts which I guess That's she's funny. got to, you got to pay your bills somehow, right? Listen, if you get a teacher, but I've not seen, I've not seen anything negative on any social media about her. It, so no, no, I haven't seen anything negative. I've just said, I've, I've seen a lot of people saying that they feel bad. The fact that she had a camera shoved in her face and now it's cost her, her career. Cause apparently her career growing up, she always wanted to be a teacher as well. What I've allegedly seen on videos. You don't know. Some people will make backstories for people. You know, someone can make a backstory for me and you. Um, like, mm. you don't know the motive. She might literally just work in a supermarket. You know, she might not be a teacher. But from what I've heard, she's a teacher and ah. the, school, the school gave her the boot, apparently. Nah, I think, I think that's wrong. I really do. I don't think she did. You're wrong, Niall! You're wrong! No, no, no. I mean, if, if she did lose her job. Because she didn't say anything offensive. She didn't even say suck that dick or anything. She just said oh, she made suck. a noise. <laughs> she made a noise. She made yeah, a kid, fucking apparently noise. Apparently, the, kid, the kids from school are mimicking <laughs> set videos. I, so. I can imagine this. Because it's gone viral. It's probably like hundreds of million views around all the social medias. 
I remember when I was in school, secondary school, there was there was rumours, there was rumours that set teacher used to do set kind of movies, and someone had a copy of this kind of mo- set set movie. Oh wow! Of your teacher, of a teacher, and I remember this rumour around school for eight. She was a fit teacher. I'm not going to take it away from her. She was a fit teacher, Did but I remember. It? I never know, no, because no, I think it was one of them urban legends. You know what I mean? Mm. I think it was one of them things that just got passed down generations of kids going, Miss So and So was in a porno. And do you know what? Someone would have it on their phone, but what, what we used to do back in the day, yeah, when you had the Nokia phones, someone would have a dirty or funny video and they'd have to Bluetooth it to your mate. And you'd have and to it'd take about a week! And you'd have, to stand ne- you'd, have to, you'd have to stand next to him while it's sending, and he'd be going whew, whew, on the screen like a little for about an hour. Yeah, if you, I'll tell you now. If you sent if you sent a song over, a song that you'd Bluetooth over to someone to take honestly, and then the, sometimes they'd go, "Oh, I've got to go," and they'd cancel it on you. They'd just cancel yeah. it on you. Like what the fuck? There were a lot of dodgy videos going back around though. When I mean. Videos. I remember a lot of fucking stupid videos. These Video, videos like. that that awoken me as a as an adult. As yeah, well. yeah, yeah. Like, and I mean, weird sexually se- related stuff. I it, for, God, I remember. I saw, do you remember the for, Do you remember the G- ginger character? It was like he was a cartoon. It was like he had like yeah. ginger hair. He had. It was yeah. like, hi, Dad. Ang- He's going, yeah, yeah, yeah. talk to his dad. Yeah. I can't remember, Angry Ginger Kid. I don't know what it was called. Yeah. There's oh, a YouTuber that. called Ang- Angry Ginge now, as well. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I remember that one where he's just, just like, fuck off, Dad. Fuck off, Dad. <laughs> right, yeah. anyway. Yeah. How would you... The Island of Tenerife. That's, that seems to be taking a lot of... It, it's definitely... Um, it's definitely TikTok news. I wouldn't say it's, it's covering the mainstream news that much. I've seen it on Facebook. Now, I've, seen, I've seen it. I mean, I've seen it on news channels, but it's the conspiracies that are coming out of TikTok. The TikTok, I like, honestly, the T, TPI, TikTok private investigators, um, they're on it. They are on it. They've got conspiracy theories through the roof, and I don't know who to believe. So this is about... The infamous Jay Slater, who's missing after going to a festival, yeah? I, I don't, I don't, what, know, have you I don't heard, really know. What have you heard about his disappearance, if that is what you want to talk about? I, I mean, I haven't heard much. From what the videos that I've seen is is that he was at a festival um, with a friend, a bunch of friends, left the festival with two, two blokes. I mean, honestly, why are you leaving the festival with two blokes? It's beyond me. You know, that, that's not how it goes down. If you're on a, if you're on a lad's holiday, you go off with two random loads. Your mates need to question something. Um, <laughs> anyway, he left. He left the festival, and then yeah, got stranded. From what I hear, and then he made a phone call. He had one percent, lost his phone. And that was it. He went missing in the daytime. Yeah. So from what they, I know is, for, from what I've sort of gathered, yeah, he obviously. Went to Tenerife, went to a festival. Uh, so I made notes because I'm professional. Um, I'm not. I'm not professional. And he, professional he, was, he was staying at an Airbnb and he got directions off like the owner of where to go. And he, was, he went for a walk for some reason. And then obviously he was seen um, with two people. So obviously that's the part that, you, that you've seen or read. So what... I believe also is that he met a girl called Lucy out there who was uh, a drug runner. She was doing drugs, uh, like a drugs mule. And he spent the day with her, seeing how it all works. And apparently he liked it. He liked the idea of getting all this money. So basically he was offered the chance to do the same sort of thing. Allegedly, I'm not a doctor, don't sue me. And... Basically, the drugs, the drug dealers, they gave him a big bag of whatever drugs they were selling, yeah? He took, he personally took half of the amount of drugs that was in this bag. So he, he ingested it himself or whatever the drugs were, I don't know what it was. And the other half of the bag, he lost. 
So, these two blokes that were seen picking him up are apparently the drug dealers and they obviously are going to take him because they want their money back. They they gave him money or drugs. They gave him the drugs. I've seen, yeah. These are the conspiracies I've seen. And, um, and, also, and then, obviously, they've held him captive and then this Lucy took his phone and went to the, uh, was it a forest or something, wasn't it? And turned his phone on so it pinged the location to keep the search going. Now, obviously, his mum had started a GoFundMe page for £30,000, yeah, which is allegedly the amount of money that he owes the drug people. So it wasn't for his mum to survive in Tenerife looking for him. I mean, who needs 30 grand to look? It was to pay off the ransom, as it were, you know. Um, and this is, I mean, that, that's pretty much every conspiracy I've seen. Yeah. So that's that's pretty much um thing and everyone's uh, initially was like oh my god poor boy he's missing he's still missing and then you find out he was part of a a gang that was machete in people's heads open and he was arrested yeah. for it and it's like oh dear he's not the sweet innocent boy that people made out to be in the first place and i think yeah it's 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 it's, a, it's it, dodgy it's a, Every it's a aspect bit, is dodgy surrounding this. I, and that, disappearance. I think, do you know, it's what it's one of them situations where, as soon as you put your opinion out there, it's kind of like, you know, you don't know the whole story. You don't no, know. We don't. It's like, we, don't. we don't. And it's it's like, I, I mean, I have the drug smule. So that Lucy being a drug smule is apparently that's completely true. So other girls have come out that have said that they've worked in bars that she's worked at, blah, blah, blah. Like, she's the go-to girl to get drugs. Yeah. Okay. So, allegedly, that, that what they're saying, that she's really popular, she does it for the money, she has this big Instagram life. It's all ah, okay. Drug me paid for, whatever. Um, I mean, this story that you just said, is kind of the main story that's going around, isn't it? It's kind of... Yeah. That it's a... It's a drugs mule. Silly boy fucking snorted it walked it i don't know fucking did whatever he did with it yeah do you know what i mean and now he's now he's up shit creek That's I again, price. yeah <laughs> saying goes you play with feathers you get your ass tickled right <laughs> like, <laughs> is that so? you're throwing up shit you're throwing up shit some some sticks yeah. i don't know i don't know like uh, previous crimes whatever like you know awful and I, I get people's opinions going what the fuck are we looking for yeah, I don't care. Like, he, I don't know. See, previous, I mean, I sadly, I never really heard of him before. No, nor did I. It so, up in the, in the press, didn't it? The whole, I have seen the whole attack stuff. And even the lad that, even the lad that was attacked has said, like, listen, I just want to see him home safe, but I wish him no, no harm. Fuck you, what's wrong with him? I mean, <laughs> That's what I mean. Very big of the, very noble and very big of the yeah. man to say that. To say, listen, that, I, don't yeah. wish no, I don't wish you no ill. I mean, that sounds like a man that's definitely grown up. Mm. You know, changed his morals in life if he's saying things like that. Because personally, I don't know if I'd be so kind. No, um, fuck him. He should die. <laughs> however. Someone attacked me. I'm sorry, but, you know. That's, he's missing. That's, that's now, it. here's one of the theories that I had. Yeah. Is that. A few months back, not so long, maybe not a few months, maybe a month back, is that Tenerife were in uproar about tourists. Yeah. They didn't want, they didn't want British tourists there. And they closed in bars early as well. Yeah. They, so I think there was, like 11 I think there was o'clock. a new, I think that's somewhere else. I'm not sure if it's there, but. Oh, okay. They basically said that Brits come to Tenerife and they make it look like a scummy hellhole. They're turning it into another Benidorm. Um, yeah. Every, and line. basically, you know, however, the tourism trade is booming in that area. People go to Tenerife. And are the younger crowd going there purely for the drugs? Is there a lot of drugs going around Tenerife that it's very easy to, it's very accessible? You just don't know. But it seems um, so, isn't it? However, what I do feel is that somebody going missing on an island is definitely going to have a massive impact on the tourism 
Yeah, especially it's not a good when, look. <laughs> especially when it comes to family, with children and young, say, you know, you've got younger teenage boys that you normally go, yeah, you can go off down the beach at the age of 15 with your mate, you bring a mate and all that, you can go, now yeah. it's him like, hell no, you ain't going nowhere, you're staying yeah. next to us. Yeah, yeah. Like, it, I, it's kind of like, you know, I like, sadly, like, the, um, how many people will put off going to Portugal as Amanda McCann? I imagine a lot. Yeah, I imagine so, especially with young kids. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you're looking at a place where somebody's going missing, or allegedly going missing, or whatever's happened to this poor lad, not so poor lad. Um, is it going to drive the tourism trade down? Is it something they wanted and said, listen, this is, a bit, you know, this is going to cause a massive stare to drive the tourism down? I don't know. It's it all the a lot. It definitely works in different aspects, I think. Oh, and it's going to work. It's it's it whether you like it or not. It's going to drive it's going to drive tourism down because the area that he went missing in Costa Adige, I was there a couple of years ago. That's where I stayed. Um, wow. So I know that area works. Really nice, really nice area. Yeah. However, are people going to want to go back there? <laughs> no, she's a fucking. No. I'm not even. No, I'm joking. Are they? No idea. Oh, we got rid of cuckoo. However, guys. yeah. No, no, it's the uh, ice cream. Ice cream. Bag. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. There's a hundred theories. Is he going to be found? Is there a time limit on the ransom? I know there's a lot of speculation about his mum basically trying to collect some of the money from the GoFundMe to fly people out. But it's now reached nearly forty thousand. Has it? Something like that. People are still giving to it. Oh my god! How stupid are people? It won't be the first time that some. It won't be the first time that somebody's raised the GoFundMe. Yeah, like uh, the Madeleine McCann parents. How much public money have they had over the years? I wonder if there'll ever be any closure on that case. Well, I Madeline's probably ever like be... 20, 20 now, isn't she? Something like that, 18, 20. I just wonder if there'll ever be a time where the truth They know where out. she is. Well, they know that they overdosed her and killed her. So. That, that, isn't it funny, though? That was the theory that, that of everybody is. for so long. They're professional. So they're professional medical doctors. They know exact. They don't fuck up sedatives. They they know what they're doing. Look pretty shit if they fucked it up. That's what I'm saying. And the fact that all of the other children were fucking zoned out as well. You know, it doesn't really help. It doesn't look good, does it? When the the other kids in the room do not wake up, if so, if your other child is being pulled out of bed and potentially kidnapped by somebody they'd be screaming wouldn't they they'd wake up they'd be scared they'd be panicking they'd be shouting screaming people would probably i mean if they were just just across the way where they were having their their lobster meal or whatever it was they've got to be i mean if right. if it is true if that's the, if it is true and that's that they did you know that is a sedation gone wrong and it's they did that up. yeah yeah they are living hell they are living in complete hell. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, for their don't, entire life. Don't doubt like, that. Knowing and they're at where the fuck did they hide her though? That's the thing. If that is the case, they are honestly. They must be fucking. They must be living a complete and utter. Yeah. Like imagine that in your head, like you kill your child by mistake, by your mistake. It's, just, it's not even worth fucking thinking about. It's, it's for it's, selfish it's, reasons. Yeah. Yeah. Although. I am, you know, I mean, when I go abroad, I'm militant around my fucking child. Mm. I don't, I'm like, nope, nope, here, here. I, I'm, mm. honestly, I'm the dad that's like, you know, fucking standing near the dance floor because, it, like, cause I don't, I'm not, I'm not moving. I'm not, I'm not leaving sight no matter how old. No. I'm not leaving. That's, I'm just, yeah, it's different. Unfortunately, the other countries have different rules and different ways. Although I grew up, in a, I grew up at a time where I remember being in a hotel room. I remember going to a wedding with my, with my parents, and we were staying there. And me and my brother were left in the room, but it was in the same hotel. And they had like a, a monitor thing system where okay. they could hear you downstairs because so they could hear you and stuff. Yeah. Like there was someone on reception that was basically saying, "Yeah, yeah, they can, you know, they're awake still or whatever." Oh, okay, but. You know, even still, 
No one will fucking take me, man. They'd send me back. I fucking talk too much. <laughs> They'd bring him back. Just give him a coffee and they think, oh, fuck that. Fuck <laughs> no, you're <Yeah>. going home. <laughs> that's it. That's the way to get Niall pissed. That's, that's pretty much getting... That's, in fact, that's probably worse than getting me drunk. He's just giving me two double espressos, one after the other. You guy like, fucking talks way too much. I need pacing around. It's like someone plugged you into the main. It's like a wake-up call, honestly. However, okay. I've learned my lessons now. No more late-night coffees. No more coffees past fucking midday, because otherwise it's a late night for me. I'm so glad it doesn't affect me. It means I can enjoy it. Just saying. It does me. It does me. So, at the moment, <laughs> I am watching... Do you remember a couple of months back you heard about the guy called The Hardest Geezer? No. He's a guy called Russ Cook. He's got a big ginger beard. He ran, he, he ran the entire length of Africa. Oh, that bloke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, mate, my yeah. God. So, I watched... I watched his episode on the Diary of a CEO. Very, very amazing episode. And only because I just wanted to... I, I, I literally put it on by chance. I was like, so I like the Diary of a CEO. And I thought, oh, I'll give that one a go. Anyway, I couldn't take my eyes off. One of those ones where you're like, this, I don't want it to end. This is such a good podcast. This is fucking brilliant. I don't want it to end. Yeah. After that, I was like, okay, I'm going to go and watch his YouTube channel and watch like his entire length of Africa. So... I am now four days in. I am now maybe 30 episodes in. And I've probably got about another 80 episodes to go. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, honestly, so this, he's in a van. He's not got loads of money. There's no, there's no fancy sponsorships yet. He's literally got a set amount of money. He's in a van. He's got a friend filming. He's got a friend um, doing all the editing. And obviously splitting the drive-in, blah, blah, blah. And honestly, this is a journey and a half. And this guy, he's, he's not... He, before this, he never proclaimed himself to be some professional athlete. However, this guy is now running a marathon a day. At least. So I heard it was like 40, 40 yeah. miles a day some days. So it's like now he's up to 60K a day. Yeah. He's, run, he's running 60K a day. And I mean, he is. Wow. He's going to... He's, he's had... He's had malaria. So far, he's he's been, he's been pissing blood. He's been held at gunpoint. I was going to say, he I heard that he got tried to be kidnapped and yeah. So stuff. he was he was kidnapped and taken into the woods with two blokes. Like yeah. he's he's been for a lot already. Someone the van got wrote off near enough. They've had, honestly, it's just a journey, and it's a journey of like mates just going on this trip and their support. Like they not they're not just his. They were there for filming. They were there for filming content, basically yeah, yeah. editing, and they are driving, looking after him, catering. They're having people going in, coming in, coming out. People going away for two weeks, coming back because they need because they're with him for a year. Like it's a long time. Like one guy, yeah, had, yeah. one of the guys, one of the guys that was filming had to leave, go to a wedding, come back. <laughs> like. So he's going. He's doing a lot. However, it's probably one of the most interesting watches that I am glued to. I am fucking glued to it. Is it the I'm series do... about him? Him running? Like you see him? Is it that? Yeah, one? yeah, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. mentioned the podcast so, as well. So the podcast it's... was on um, Diary of a CEO. Oh, is that just him on there? One episode, yeah. Yeah, him on there for the oh, one okay. episode. And I just and I followed the last two weeks of. But it, I only followed it through Instagram and things like that. I never followed it through his YouTube channel. And I didn't realise the entire journey from start to finish is on YouTube. So, oh, is it? Oh, wow. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Oh, the entire journey. The entire... Yeah. And it is, honestly, it's it's one of the watches where it's not just about him running. It's not. It's everything. It's not... You, in, in fact, you barely see him doing his runs. You see him going off and he's got his own. But he's such a fucking cool bloke. He's 27, 28 maybe now. Yeah. Um, started when he was 26. So, or when he just turned 27. Um, anyway, it's just a fucking good watch. If you, if you, if you want something that's going to keep you watching something for a little while and you're going to be busy watching it, go and watch Russ Cook's YouTube channel and watch the entire journey from start to finish. 
I'm only no, a quarter of the three. Let's get him on the podcast. You never know. Yeah. Hard as geezer. Please come on our podcast. We'll um, we'll have you on, dude. What's his name? Russ Cook or Ross Cook? Russ. R U S S C O O K. Russ Cook. Are you okay? Russ Cook. No. Cook. Is it Luke? Lukey Cook. Let's have a look. I mean, he's definitely he's definitely earned the uh, name of the hardest geezer for sure. He's killing himself. At the moment where I'm at, he's, he's going for a lot. Hardest geezer. Yeah. That bloke. Oh, he's fucking... He's a gangster, man. I'm telling you. Yeah. Let's see if we can get him on. You never know. You he might know. want to talk to two weirdos. <laughs> he might he might give us a go. He might give two struggling assholes a chance just to raise their game in the podcast world and keep the pod. Now, I heard a thing the other day. People saying that podcasts are dying. No, no. I, I've I've heard the complete opposite. Whenever I, I listen to loads at the moment because when I'm struggling. I listen to podcasts all the time. Yeah, and they were saying podcasts are just getting bigger. They're never going away. We're never going away. We'll be here when we're 80. And Mickey's dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be dead if you're fucking 80. I imagine. And I'll be talking to Mickey for a spirit box. <laughs> Mickey's spirit box. Let's be precise. <laughs> it's going to steal it, bastard. <laughs> what do you plan on doing with them? Um, what do you plan on doing with your dolls? Sounds weird. He doesn't have sex dolls. Really. He has haunted dolls, possessed dolls. What do you plan on doing with them in the years to come? Do you ever plan on handing them down to somebody else, or giving them to somebody else um, in the field? If if I stopped doing stuff, yeah. If I stopped doing it, which I can't ever see myself doing that. Um, yeah, but what happens when you reach a certain age and you go, "Listen, I'm pretty old now, guys." You know. In two weeks' time, <laughs> what happens to them? Like you must have to think. I'm gonna have to put. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to do something good with them. You can't. You know. You can't just die in a house. Then one day you're. You know. Your kids go. Well, we know what these fucking dolls are. What are we gonna do? Just bang them in a charity shop. <laughs> Some poor kid buys it, takes it home. Uh, to be fair, my kids will probably keep keep Janet anyway. I'd say at least Janet. Because oh, everyone knows Janet, so should we get them out together and just let them sit around in a circle? <laughs> no, I'm too busy for that. Make a little tea party. Mm. Janet, would you like a topper? No. <laughs> okay, just, just me that thought that idea, then, eh? No. It's burnt baby. Oh, fuck off! Fuck off! Fuck off! I, I found this get location. A location, so I took it. Oh fuck! Look at no, um, look at the state of that thing. Look at <laughs> I can't, mate. I'm not looking at it. I ain't doing it. Fuck the thing off. Just oh. fucking get it out. What's wrong with burnt baby? I, I claim no negative energy from that shit. It looks like the one from fucking Toy Story. Yeah. <laughs> I got Ouija baby. Ouija doll. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck off, mate! You go to you go to bed, and these things are just staring at you. You're so fucking weird. I know, I am. mate. Just get rid of them. Just fucking <laughs> put them in the fucking bin. Get put them. Honestly, just next time the bins are being emptied, fucking put them in. What would I do that for? It's fucking weird. Oh, mate! It's ain't I'm fucking. I'm too hot. I'm I'm too hot right now. I'm getting a bit delirious. I've gone through two bottles of water in the fucking episode. <laughs> um, I don't know what we've even spoke about. I don't even know where we started this conversation. It's just been... It's just one of them weeks. The heat will go, though, people. It will yeah, go. Apparently, it's going to... How did everybody like the camping episode? It should be out by now. If you've not seen it, go and watch it. Yeah, it will be out by now, yeah. Go and watch it. How did you like it? Let's give some more comments on there. Maybe yeah. we'll send you a mug. Yeah, where's your mug, Niall? Um, it's, um... I forgot, we were supposed to be using them today. Fucking hell. 
Next time. Next time. Oh. Oh, where's Mickey gone? I wonder what he went to get. I went to oh. get a mug. Look. Dads, lads, and kebabs! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Number one fitness podcast. And on that note, people, deuces and fuck off! <laughs> oh, love the show. But anyway, guys, thanks for joining us on another random episode of Dads, lads, and kebabs where we chat absolute shit. Niall's not even had any coffee, and I think on what it is, is I'm running on the end of the tank. And the last fish is coming out. But, guys, it's, hope you finishing, are... We're finishing early. What's the matter with you? We're finishing early. That's it. I'm done. I've got nothing else. I'm going, I'm going to see your brother in a minute. Well, there you go. No, did I, get, did I get an invite? Did I fuck? Fuck you. They said, take your little camera and your little fucking your little muffler, right? <laughs> fucking go dogging. Do you know what, you know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna I'm gonna put these goggles on your brother and make him sit in the dark well it will be dark anyway, but sit in there with these fuckers on. Oh god. Oh, it's coming. Uh, it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. Oh, it's black. Oh it's in my face <laughs> Oh my god, they look so fucking weird. Steampunky, I'd say. Yeah. Similar. Guys, I would say. we love you. Thank you for joining us on this show. If you like this one, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, fuck off. Deuces. <laughs> we don't care anyway. We're going to keep filming. It's our show. We'll do what we want. And on the classic note, it's up to me. It's up to me. Deuces. <laughs> fuck off. Go on. <laughs> got enough with you. Fuck off. You've had enough out of us. It's all free. This yeah, it's free. You don't even pay for it. Subscribing's you don't... free. Subscribing's free. No one sends us any money. Right, where's our GoFundMe, eh? For my fucking... I don't know what I need, but I need something. I don't need anything. <laughs> don't want your money, right? Just fuck off. <laughs> Deuces.